this lesson, what we'll do is we'll take a look at how to track an object with the camera as it's moving. So for, in the earlier lessons, you should know how to, this is set up. So when I start the engine up and press the A key, I have the A key set up just to move this down the X or the negative X axis, down like that. And to get you oriented, I just have these other objects in the scene so you can see where you are as we go. So I want to be able to track it. So I set this camera up in advance so it's looking directly down at this object. And the logic bricks for the cube, we'll just take a quick look. That's nothing more than having a keyboard sensor with the A key, an AND controller here, and moving it in the negative X direction every time the A key is pressed, like this. All right? So b in order to track it, the problem with not tracking it is if I put it here, of course, and I run it, then it just runs out of my view and I can't see it. So if you're making a car game of some sort or something, that's not going to help out very well. So the way to do it is just grab the camera like this, make sure it's selected, and then go into the logic bricks. And we'll go full screen on the logic bricks here and just add an always sensor and an AND controller, connect those two together. And then over here, add an edit object actuator. All right. And then connect these two together as well. And then instead of using it to add an object to the scene, we're going to change this and we're going to say track to. And we're going to track to the object, that vehicle. And that vehicle is just named cube like that. So now it should track to it for starters. It's, the, it's not completely done, but we'll verify that's named cube. Yes, it is named cube. All right, so if I go back into camera mode by pressing 0 on the numpad. So now when I run it, I'll press P. And notice the view switches a little bit on me. All right, I'll escape that. I'll press P again. See, it switches. But yet it should still track. All right, now I'm going to press A to move it. And you can see the camera is now following the object down through the scene. So that's a good start for getting it going. And if you run into this issue here where the camera seems to shift on you, well, let's go back into the camera mode, back into the logic bricks again. You can just do control right arrow to switch these scenes through here. I do control right arrow and control left arrow allows you to switch back and forth. And then when I'm in here, I control up arrow gives me full screen. Well, notice over here in the actuator, edit object actuator, when I attract to, here's this 3D button. You have to make sure that that's enabled as well. All right, so I'm going to control down arrow to get back, control left arrow back to the scene, press zero on the numpad to get back to my view. Now with the 3D set, now it should recognize the environment. So now when I press P, there it is looking at it like that, escape. Yep. It's not exactly right, but it's close. It's, I see it shifts a little bit up there. Okay, and so now when I press A, there it is down there. All right, well, that should help you get going for now. I hope that helps you in your games, and I'll see you in the next lesson.